Okay, so before I start this video, I want to explain some stuff real quick. Uh, here's a little rant before I start the actual video. So over the past three years, about, I've been delving into politics, and damn, I feel like a true millennial. Like, honestly. Because I'm depressed as fuck. Yeah, yeah politics are pretty depressing. I'm, I'm joking, by the way. S somewhat, at least. Uh, let me just say, po politics are dirty. It's dirty. They is dirty. Both in terms of politicians and general politics. For example, the terms libtards, snowflake, trumptard, fascist, nazi, trump supporter, fake news, socialist, communist, snowflake. Apparently libfag are common all over the internet in terms of politics. Libfag is actually a new one for me, by the way. I just heard that recently on uh, YouTube, actually. Whenever I get into political arguments, I constantly, like constantly, hear these terms brought up. Usually someone uses like libtard once they've lost and have zero rebuttal, so I hear it constantly. Can I say how ironic this image is? Just saying. Just saying. This is why I refrain from making political content, but I decided, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. With all of this out of the way, here we go. Here are the reasons I personally, personally, dislike Trump. Number one. He's racist. Apparently this is actually a very disputed point. Thanks YouTube comments. Let me just bring up a few reasons I think, personally, he's racist. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Shithole countries. Enough said. <laughs> oh, hmm, let's see. I wonder. Oh, hmm. Someone died. Yeah. Someone plowed their, plow, plowed their car into a group of people. I actually forgot about that. Jesus fucking Christ. Practically every statement regarding illegal immigrants. They're all rapists. They're all rapists. The wall. The Muslim ban, which, um, I mean, it's, it's a Muslim ban, whatever. Obama's birth certificate movement, I guess. I don't know. Like, it <clears throat> was it a movement? Was it not? What, what, what was that? What the, it's, it's still going on, too. I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Wh whatever. Hmm. Sad life. He also said he's a nationalist. Yeah. By the way, that's not a good thing. Just saying. And, uh, well, uh, yeah. Just, just look at these. Yeah. Number two. He's sexist. Okay. Here we go. Grab him by the pussy. It's just locker room talk, by the way. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Yeah. Mm. He also called women, and uh, I quote, pigs, fat, dog, slob, and disgusting animal. I know it's a human being. Yeah. He also said he'd date his own daughter. Jokingly, by the way. Um, <clears throat> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Incest is bestest. His comments towards uh, Rosie O'Donnell. I didn't actually know he spelled it that way, honestly. Yeah, it just... just oh, God, he said very disgusting things about her. He called breastfeeding disgusting. Why? Just, just why? He also joked about Hillary being unable to satisfy her husband. And, yeah... Oh, don't look too good for him in, in regards to this. Number three... He's a pathological liar. He's a fucking pathological liar. Like, he constantly lies. Like, practically every other fucking word. By the way, that's an exaggeration. Please take sarcasm. People are literally keeping track of his lies. There's a fucking tracker. Come on. 649 days into his fucking presidency, he's estimated to have lied 6,420 times. 
420. Enough said. N- n- no, but honestly, he's a fucking used car sale- salesman. He lies constantly. Take nothing he says at face value. Please. Jesus Christ. Number four. He's not a politician. I know this is actually a reason why people voted for him, but seriously, he's not corrupted like other politicians. He's run. He'll run the country like he runs his business. He's gone bankrupt three times, by the way. He just states his mind without being politically correct. Oh, I'm not gonna start. Not gonna start. <clears throat> I don't care if someone has a degree in political science, honestly. But I think it's best for them to have prior experience in politics. He's a terrible negotiator. He has no idea how the government's fucking structured. Like, we just had a government shutdown. And I'm nice when I understand that he, it's not the president's job to make a spending bill. Yeah, he signs it, but still. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. At least be well versed in politics, please. And please. No, just know when to talk. Seriously, it's not that hard. Talk when you're supposed to. Don't sound like a fucking dumbass. That's a good segue. Also, don't fire people on Twitter. Also, don't provide confidential information on Twitter. Also, don't tell the enemy information about an ally that could be dangerous to them. Oh my god, Jesus, fuck. And lastly, number five. He's an idiot. Okay, last one here. I'm a stable genius. Cafefe. Yeah, also I'm just saying, in my script, I said to put a, a weird, nonsensical rant. There's so many, honestly. I could take any, any speech he's ever given, pretty much, and take a part of it, and it's going to be nonsensical. Like, take an entire speech, and it would be. I still got enough time for that. Honestly, he's a fucking idiot. Seriously. He says he has a super high IQ. He does not. He does not. Like, oh, God. The the doctor who um, looked at him, Jeez, uh, oh, I'm freaking out. Seriously, the doctor looked at him. He was paid off to say this. Like, I I'll, here I'll provide the article too. Like, ah, oh, god damn. Oh, also, he's plunging our country towards a fucking recession using fucking expansionary economic policy. Even though we're in a we're not even in a fucking recession, but we're going towards one because of him. Mmm. Ah, oh, don't use expansionary monetary policy. Please, just have someone who knows anything about economics. Please, just take AP economics. You don't know enough. God. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Hmm. <clears throat> He's also joked about a nuclear button. He's also called himself a fucking nationalist, like I said earlier. That's just dumb. Just dumb. Like, you might be it. Just don't say it. It's, ah, oh God. He's also moving our country out of the global economy. Just cause. And he exists. So, yeah, that's, that's enough of a reason, really. Like, God damn, I have so many tweets. So just look at every single speech of his. He's not a smart guy. He does not have a high IQ. I am sorry. Fuck. Okay, that's the end of my video here. On the five reasons why I dislike Trump. I will provide some articles in the description below. Um, please know everything I've stated here is factual opinions. Have a have a good day and uh, go Trump.